Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Calf Rig. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's... We're sticking with the theme, it's a VR, it's a VR episode, okay? We're sticking with the theme. Um, so today, actually today, was, was a really good day. Uh, I started out my day with about an hour, hour and a half of Super Hot, which was really really fun super hot in vr is like insanely fun um like just picking up a gun and then like shooting it at something is it oh it's it, it, oh. it feels so good it's so good it's 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 an experience like i've, I've beaten super hot on pc a couple of times it's a good game it's a really really good game i will never play it on pc again I, j I just won't. If I'm ever like, oh, I could go for some super hot, I'm putting on my Oculus Quest and I'm playing it in VR because it is like 10 times better. It's a completely different experience. Did you just, you look around you and you see those red skeleton boys coming at you and you, you, you punch them and you pick up your guns and you walk around and you, oh, it's like, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's an incredible gaming experience. Unlike, it, oh, it's, it's just, it's so good. It's, it's so good. If you guys haven't played VR and you, you have the opportunity to... Oh, I don't have my... Wait, stop. If you guys have never had the experience to play a game in VR, and yeah, and yeah, yeah, you have the opportunity. If you ever get the opportunity, like, take it. It is mind-boggling. So, I had a... Uh, had an incident. Had an incident, not a major incident, not a major incident, but a minor incident, one that reminded me of my own mortality. In Super Hot, I was uh, there's a gun on the ground, and I wanted it, and it was next to like a crate or bench or car. It was next to some object, right? Um, so as I was bending down, I reached out and tried to put my hand on it, right? As you do. Uh, I didn't fall, but I, uh, my hand kind of phased through it, and I was kind of confused for a moment. I'm like, oh, right, yeah, no, this doesn't actually exist. It's not actually there. Um, but I totally just... Because, like, when I'm bending down next to something, my hand just kind of reaches out to touch it, you know? Just for a little stability. You know? It's not like I'm using it to support my weight, necessarily. It's not like I'm using it, like, I can't bend down without having it there. It's just, uh... My hand kind of naturally reaches out to, to touch it for, for stability in the case where I, uh, I do end up falling. So there's a, there's a backup measure, you know? Um, so when my, my hand went through it, I was like, oh, what the heck? Right, yeah, no, it's not actually, it doesn't actually exist. It's not actually there. It was, uh, it was, it was a very confusing experience for a brief moment when I, uh, I tried to, like, touch it to, like, balance myself as I was going, you know? Very, very, very weird. Reminds me, though. Because it is immersive AF, okay? Like, I, I have the Oculus Quest 2. There are no wires at all. Whatsoever. You know? Like, you you can just walk wherever you want. You will never feel the pull of a, of a wire behind you or something like that. Like, you're, you're completely, totally separated from reality. It's like, it's like a perfect seal around you like just completely separating you from from what's really there and and building up its own reality for you to to exist within and uh, it's easy to sometimes not forget that you're playing a game but forget that you're playing a video game you know what i mean for and it just takes a moment you know it just takes like a brief lapse in 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 judgment to, to be like yeah this is uh because you know, you're, you're obviously aware that you're playing a video game you know but it, it just takes you know a nanosecond of you not recognizing that fact for it to turn into you jumping through a window <laughs> you know what i mean uh for for it to turn into you like falling flat on your butt right like it just takes the briefest the briefest of moments before you're you're on the floor or through a window or punching out a lot just the briefest of moments 
and it's not something that I think I'm ever going to get better with. You know, so people are like, oh, well, it's just a learning curve. I don't, I don't think it is. I think that VR is so immersive that uh, it could be like five years from now I'm going to be playing in VR and I'm still going to end up putting my hand out to touch it because it just, it just feel it, it just in that you know microsecond when I when I reach my hand out to touch it, it felt real. It felt like it was there, you know. And and obviously you know for the rest of the game I'm not like oh my god I'm actually being attacked by guns but there there are brief moments where where your your brain just kind of reacts to whatever's there and you're not really thinking about it you know and uh, I don't think you can really learn how to avoid that I think that it's just going to happen and you have to uh, really most importantly keep your like guardian space clean and uh, make sure that you have any kind of like that you can't possibly like punch through a window while re while remaining within your guardian zone, you know? Cuz like once you're at the guardian boundary and you see it, that that feels like a wall, you know? Like you you see the the checkerboard popping up on your in your field of view and and it feels like a wall that you can't walk through. So even if even if you're you know, stuck in uh in the, in the moments of not being able to tell that you're in virtual reality, you're still gonna have a like physical, you know, quote unquote, wall that you can't walk through in uh, in that reality, and so you're still going to avoid it or at least react to it. You know, it'll bring you back to reality, uh, and it's it's super important to to make sure that you drill that into your head that you have that boundary because. Um, that's that's what's gonna keep you from, and you don't want to put your boundary like right up against something, right? So I I see a lot of things like on Reddit or whatever, where people put their boundary like right up against the wall. So like the bounding, so, like the guardian zone is the wall. No, 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 no. You want you want a good bit of space between the the guardian like bounding box and then like an actual wall. You want you want some space there so that you can reach past it if you have to. Um, you know carefully um, so that if you do end up stepping past it accidentally or whatever you're not smashing into a wall you know you want to have a little bit of leeway there just just in case of accidents or whatever but then treat it like a physical wall um, for the most part you know like sometimes in in, uh, in super hot there was a gun like just outside the guardian zone so I'm like slowly reaching my hand towards it because I have no idea because it's just a square you know like it's, it's just a square I have no idea how much I've been turned around while I'm playing it. Like, I have no idea what direction I'm facing. I have no idea, what, like, where I am in the house at all. You know? Well, I know where I am in the house, but I couldn't tell you, like, you know, the... I couldn't walk back to where I was standing. You know what I mean? I could walk back to the same room, but I couldn't tell you where in the room I was. Because I'm just, like... You know, you, like, turn around or whatever, and then you're like, whatever, I don't really want to, like, find the stupid menu, so you just summon it to you. Now it's in front of you. Your your sole point of of like reference is gone at that point. Oh, you know, yeah. it's gone, just straight up gone. You cannot tell where you are. You cannot tell what direction you're facing. You can't tell what's in front of you. You don't know if you're on the part with the wall. You don't know if you're on the part with the cabinet or the laundry machine. You don't you don't know where you are. You know nothing. Um. Yeah, you know nothing. Which is uh, is a really cool experience, cause like I took off my uh, I took off my headset and I'm like standing next to the window and I'm like I could have swore I was by the couches. <laughs> I'm just like right at the window. Well, I mean like a good couple of feet away, but like you know, uh, you got the people people mod their um, Oculus like controllers to not have the wrist strap, but instead have the like just kind of like hand strap or just straps around you. I think that's stupid. You know, it would be way more comfortable and way more immersive, I'm sure. But like, you gotta, you know, if you're gonna be doing that, you gotta at least keep the wrist strap on as well. Cause you gotta have something where it cannot be removed from your hand. You cannot throw it at a TV or a window or something, you know? Uh, yeah. It's also not the most comfortable thing, but I, I can be in VR for like an hour, hour and a half, and 
um, not have too much discomfort from it, and that's mostly because the, the strap that comes with the Oculus Quest 2 isn't that great. It's like a super cheap headset, so like, and like, insanely good for, for like, like, I'm, I, cheap out on the strap, dude. <laughs> Fine by me. Cheap out on the strap, just don't cheap out on the hardware, and they certainly did not. It's so good. Um, sometimes in super hot, because it doesn't render the whole scene, right? Like, it only renders what you're looking at and a little bit outside it. Sometimes in super hot, it had happened, like, two or three times over the course of, uh, my hour, hour and a half play session. I would turn my head a little bit too quickly, and there'd be this, like, black flash, and then uh, a little bit of a delay before it started to, to pick up again. It happened, like, a couple of times. It was there. Um, didn't really bother me. It was, it was, like, a brief moment, and then back on schedule. Only, only if I was moving my head really quickly or whatever. And even then, like, I couldn't replicate it. <laughs> I couldn't replicate it. So, I don't know, it, it had to, like, be a fast head movement lined up with also at the same time that it was, like, saving something or something. Like, I don't know, like, it, it was it, it just, just shockingly smooth. Uh, most of the games are only running at 75 frames per second at the moment, I believe. Uh, with an update that will push 90 hertz to everything soon. Um, the things where you, you can tell. You can tell what runs at 75 and what runs at 90. It's notably smoother. Like, definitely. Um, but, you know, whatever. 75 hertz is honestly, like, fine. 90 hertz is way better. And, like, definitely, like, looking forward to that. Um, but, like, 75 hertz is, is honestly very, very acceptable as well. Um, it's just, it's not great, you know? Could be better. There, 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 there's room for improvement, for sure. I mean, there's room for improvement with 90 hertz as well, but uh, definitely with 75, you can, you can notice. Especially because I can see some things working in 90 hertz. You know, like, that's the part that kind of, like, really gets me with it. Is I know what 90 hertz looks like, so it does kind of make it... Before I turned on the 90 hertz, I was like, I don't know. Very pretty smooth. I could like wiggle my hands around or whatever. I'd, I'd feel a little bit of stuttering, but like for the most part, it just felt pretty smooth. And then after I turned on the experimental 90 hertz and and whatever supports it, I'm like, you can immediately tell what's 90 hertz and what's 75 hertz. It's not bad. It's just not as good. Um, anyway, the the strap isn't that great, so. It's uh, it is a little bit dis uh, like uncomfortable. Um, it, it puts a lot of weight like on your forehead and, and nose area, which is not so good. And it has like this top strap as well, but because the side straps aren't rigid, um, the top strap doesn't really matter. <laughs> like sometimes I notice like it's not even like touching my head. No, and it, does, it doesn't matter because they're not rigid, so they stretch and move and what all, all that, you know? So it's like, you can't really get them to a point where they're uh, actually going to work fine, you know? Just just because they are not not rigid. They're very flexible, like just fabric-y straps, you know? So it is, it is a little bit discomfort. Uh, because it's basically just like squishing it onto your face with the straps that go around your head, and then the top strap isn't really doing much at all. Um, just just because that's 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 how it is when you have these uh, flimsy straps. Um, you know, you can get it on there working with the top strap, and it'll be comfortable for like I don't know twenty minutes, and then you're bouncing around and stuff, and all of a sudden it's it's loosened up a little bit, and like it's just, it's not good. It's not good. But again, I can do about an hour, hour and a half-ish before I, I start to notice it being too bad. And then once it's off for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes or whatever, it's, you know, perfectly comfortable again. It's just, do I want to play more after that? Yeah, not so much. It's it's pretty physically taxing. Um, so my mother, I downloaded uh, a roller coaster game. There's like a free roller coaster game that I, uh, I had downloaded. Um, if you guys have played VR, you'll probably know what roller coaster game I'm talking about. I don't know what the name of it is. Um, 
My mother went on Rock Six Falls eight, and she was something. insanely freaked out by it, like screaming and screeching and uh yeah, she's 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 definitely somebody who's uh very I mean it's kinda it's kinda like how it works, right? Is is yeah, people who are a little bit more uh immersed into the into the uh VR stuff, and then some people who kind of like step separate it from reality, you know. Um, so, but uh, she was she was definitely freaked out by it. I didn't really get that, you know. I went on the roller coaster. I think I talked about it. I didn't really get any motion sickness. I didn't really get any kind of. It was just kind of boring. It was slow and you know, it was like reasonably quick. But you, you just you don't. I didn't get the physical sensations of being on a roller coaster, so it didn't really bother me, you know? Like, I wasn't actually upside down, I was still sitting right side up, and I wasn't actually flying through the air, I was sitting on my couch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was uh, not a particularly enjoyable experience for me. It was cool, for sure, but eh. not, not, not something that was going to be, like, scaring me or anything like that. You could definitely scare me with VR, but it's not with movement. It's not with heights or anything like that. If you're scared of heights, I'd, I'd definitely see how that would be scary for you, because it was pretty high, and it looked pretty, you know, uh, it's just, it's just how much, how much, uh, you know, how much, like, what kind of, like, I, I guess that's kind of how it goes, right, is a lot of people are more visual, I guess, you know, so, like, I'm, I'm very physical, um, and, and some people are more visual, you know, so some people kind of base the reality on what's visually happening and some people base the reality on what's physically happening. What is how does it feel? I guess, you know. So I, I, I live more in the physical reality. My mom lives more in the vi the visual reality. So uh the the you know, being on a roller coaster when it's just a visu visual sensation kinda affected her a bit more. But she was screaming and screeching and all kinds of stuff. It was very fun to watch. Um, she hasn't played Beat Saber yet. I'm looking forward to uh to watching that. I'm looking forward to watching her play Beat Saber. Just because it's so fun to watch people play Beat Saber. Because you look like such a dork. <laughs> like, in Beat Saber, you feel like a, a, a lightsaber wielding god, you know? Outside of Beat Saber? Mm, no. You just, you look like a... Are you okay? You having a seizure over there? Um, anyway. I want to I want to watch her play Beat Saber because I'm sure I'm sure that uh, I like watching people who who have um, I mean that's that's kind of like half the reason to get VR right is to let people try it and watch them look like fools and then the other half of the reason is because you want to be the one that's looking like a fool because it's pretty dang fun uh, so I had uh, I want to watch I want to watch her play Beat Saber my father's gonna try it for the first time tomorrow as well he hasn't been willing to try it uh, the past couple days I don't know why. But he hasn't been willing to, so that's his choice, you know? I'm not gonna force him to play VR if he doesn't want to. It's okay, you know? Um, so I will, uh... I'll have to, like, sanitize the, um... The, uh... Thing. Because, uh... <laughs> on to the next point that I'm gonna be making today. I bought the Oculus Quest 2 for two reasons. Okay? One... It just seems like fun, right? Like having a an Oculus Quest like VR thing. It just seemed like a lot of fun, and I really wanted to play it, and I wanted to play things in VR and have that kind of an experience. It seemed like fun. That was reason number one. Reason number two was, uh, well, I guess there's three reasons. I wanted my family to also be able to experience that and have fun as well, because I am a gracious daughter and sibling. I am a very generous and kind person. Humble too, um, and then reason number three was because I thought that it, it would be a very physical activity um, and help me lose weight. It has exceeded all of my expectations on those fronts by a ton. So the fun was way more than I expected. My family's fun is way more than I expected. Uh, I'm so 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 looking forward to getting like you know, Richie's plank experience or whatever and, and letting people try that and stuff and, and like, you know, slowly work them up to that. You don't really want to do that immediately and watch them dive off through the window or something stupid, you know, but I'm looking forward to that. I want to watch them play Beat Saber and like 
I mean, they want one now. <laughs> Everybody in the house wants one. They don't want to spend the money on one, but they all want one. So we'll probably end up seeing a few more of them coming in the next, I don't know, year or two in this household. I probably won't be here, hopefully. But, uh... Yeah, they're, they're, they're probably going to end up wanting to get get one. I mean, they want to get one. They take one if I bought them for them, but they don't want to spend the money. Because they're, they're not cheap, right? It's not, it's not cheap. It is cheap when you think about it, like, relative to other hobbies, you know? Like, you can easily spend more than that on a TV. You spend more than that on, like, a motorcycle, dirt bike, ATV, boat, you know, gas for your car. Spend more than that on cooking, knives, you know, whatever whatever hobby you got. It's, it's not a particularly expensive hobby in the grand scheme of things. At $400 for just, like, straight up, that's it, you play VR now. Plus, you know, you have to also buy the games and stuff, but those are relatively cheap. Given the, the amount of time that you can put into them. Anyway, so it, uh, it exceeded the amount of fun that I expected to have. It exceeded the amount of fun that I expected to have watching my family play it. And it succeeded in how much I thought I would be, um, like, how much it would help me lose weight. Uh, because I played about an hour and a half of, um, played about an hour and a half of Super Hot, which was reasonably physic, like, reasonably taxing, uh, in its own right. It's definitely not a, uh laid-back game like it's it's a it's a pretty slow game you're able to take your time doing it but uh, you're still like moving around bending down picking stuff up and you're picking up your controllers or whatever but like you know you're still moving around right like it's it's still uh like a, i don't know an aerobics session or something you know like you're you're still moving your body and uh getting in some like body weight exercises basically right it's basically what it is it's body weight exercises and there's like a a weird like television that uh, moves around and like pretends like you're doing something else and then all of a sudden it's fun but it's, it's still just like body weight exercises for the most part right um, so uh, that was that was the start of my day like I woke up and I pretty much just immediately played super hot it was oh it was so much fun uh, and it was like Reasonably physically taxing. Reasonably, it was. I after about an hour and a half, I had a, I was sweating like a little bit, but like not really much, you know. Like the the Oculus Quest was like dry, you know, like the face interface, you know, the foam on it was dry. I was mostly dry, you know. Like it was, I had sweat a little bit throughout the process, but like it was, it was, it was pretty. Most mo like. Similar to like walking, kind of, you know? Similar to like walking, which was a lot of what I was doing. Uh, however, I uh, about an hour ago, I finished up an hour and a half long session of Beat Saber. And, oh my god. I don't know, I haven't looked into how much, like how many calories you burn in like an hour of Beat Saber. But just given how I feel right now and and how i felt when i finished up and like how much i sweat like the face mask thing was like wet <laughs> it sweat because it i was sweating man it was it's gross and that's why you gotta like get your own vr things and then like sanitize the the things and stuff because like that's gross right um but uh yeah, I was sweating. And just given how I was feeling towards the end of it, I imagine in an hour and a half of Beat Saber, I probably burned about 600 to 800 calories, is, is my expectation. Um, and that's like some of the most fun I've had playing video games in, in a long time, honestly. So like an hour and a half of Beat Saber a day, the thing is, is, it's like I said, right, like, there's this, like, weird wrapper on your exercise that makes it feel like a game, and it gives you that, like, dopamine kick, you know, and it makes it, like, feel good and, and fun. Um, so, like, an hour and a half of Beat Saber Day is, like, at the moment, probably the most I can do. 
uh, just just based on like not physically hurting myself because <laughs> it's very and and on top of that like I'm I'm intentionally like moving more than you have to just to make it a little bit more um, physically involved because weight loss is my goal so I'm 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 hopping around and bouncing around and you know doing very uh, uh, grandiose movements and stuff you know more than you have to you can basically stand still and flick your wrists right like you like uh, there was a couple of doing the campaign and there were a couple of songs that uh, had a minimum like hand movement goal of uh, 800 meters so uh, over the course of like three minutes in the song or whatever you had to move your hands at least 800 meters of, of like cumulative distance while you were slashing these uh, these uh, things right these these beats that are these notes that are like flying towards you right you have to smash like them with like these huge motions to, to build up that like 800 meters of, uh, of distance traveled with your your hands cumulatively uh, over the song um, and I was getting typically like 800 to 810 and in, uh, in those and I had to try to move a little bit more than I normally do but not not that much more you know and then there were also some with a maximum like hand movement um, and uh, you know, so you had to move like 160 meters cumulatively max and uh, those ones were easier and like I barely had to move you know like I just stood still and kind of like flick 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 you know then we got like 100 meters uh, cumulative over the course of the uh, whole like uh, 100 meters cumulatively over the course of the songs or so which is like not a workout but oh geez you need you need bullets dude you need bullets you, you, yeah so uh, it was it was oh it was just it was a really 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 cool experience and when I was done I was covered in sweat <laughs> covered in sweat uh, I'm like reasonably sore at the moment like my arms and my uh, my legs feel a little bit uh, sore uh, I'm trying to maintain some semblance of posture as I uh, as I bend for the uh, like go underneath the big boxes thing, um, but I can't like see myself, so I have no idea how well I'm doing on that front. But uh, I'm trying to maintain some semblance of posture on that because you can probably fuck up your back with that, right? Like uh, with um, no, please, 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 oh. You probably mess up your back pretty bad with uh, Beat Saber and bending and stuff, right? Something fun's coming. I, I bet you can. I'm trying to hear where he's coming from. I, I know he's there. Yeah, he's right. He's right here. Okay. Um. So, uh, oh jeez, jeez, oh jeez, I don't want daddy to kill me, um, so yeah, I'm probably going to be losing weight at a, uh, much more consistent and, uh, it'll probably be a lot easier. Actually, you know what, let's, let's take a peek here, okay? I don't have Firefox open at the moment, oh dear. Let's get Firefox open, that's Firefaws. Firefox again. Firefox. Firefox. Um. Uh, Beat saber calories per hour. Uh, VRHealth.institute. Seems like a pretty. So at my weight. Um. Hmm. I don't know. It's talking about badges and stuff. I don't know what the heck uh, is going on here. 
Uh, peak observed sustained mets. No idea what these things mean. I don't know these fancy things. Uh, let's see. Intensity. So 35 minute workout. They were playing. Yeah, they did 35 minutes. They burned 378 calories is what their thing says. Um, and if we look at somebody else, like Forbes, VR Scouts. Um, for 48 minutes, they burned 274 calories. They didn't look like they were really moving that much, though. That was their like first Beat Saber run, and I'm doing a little bit more than that, I think. Um, this person lost 138, doing a half hour routine daily for like a year or something like that. That's pretty good. My fitness pal calories burned from Beat Saber. My weight goes here, and then this goes here. Okay, about 500 calories is what uh, it says, and I'm I'm intentionally making it a little bit more intense as I play so I'd probably up that a little bit um, so yeah I think I was pretty accurate with my like 600 to 800 estimate you know for for just a guess I think I did pretty okay for that you know but uh, yeah like half an hour of that a day is uh, more than just like okay it's fun you know it's fun and uh, I definitely, I definitely like that. So I'll definitely, I'll, I'll be doing probably like an hour to an hour and a half of it every single day for like, I don't know, the rest of my life. And weight is probably going to end up coming off. I'm really excited too, because um, in the future, I might want to get into uh, like recording VR stuff and having like a green screen set up and all that, you know, for it to have uh, it like recording me in VR and then having like the camera on it and stuff like that. Like I don't know if you guys have seen Beat Saber uh, recordings where you can actually see the person like smashing the stuff, you know? Did you go down? He went down, right? He went down. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. It's just a couple more shots that I need to get onto you. Come on. There we go. So it'd be really cool to do that, right? To have like the green screen and then be able to see me like smashing the things and stuff. Because I'm pretty okay at it. You know? And uh, if I play it for as so much as I that. play it. and I mean, ultimately, it's a workout. But at the same time, it's a game. Right? And I'm pretty good at games. So I think that I might be pretty good at it eventually. And once I am, once I'm more comfortable recording live content, or once I have the ability to set up like a green screen and all that recording and stuff, which is going to necessitate um, having uh, like more space than I currently have in the first place. Once I have all that, I'll probably end up setting up like a recording thing. We'll end up doing some uh, Beat Saber or other VR games on the channel with being able to see me doing the stuff if that's you know, if it's a game that sort of, you know, kind of works with that. Like, some games, you they just don't work. It's better to see it from first-person perspective. But some games, like Beat Saber, are, uh, are better to be seen from a third-person perspective. So, anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.